Hi guys, Matias Mendiola here, storyboard artist and member of the Grease Pencil team. You know that Grease Pencil was merged recently into Blender 2.8 Alpha, so I want to show you in this quick video the basics of Grease Pencil and how it works. But before start, please be aware that Grease Pencil is in Alpha version, so you can expect a lot of uh, improvement, a lot of changes in the future. Also be aware that Grease Pencil and Eevee require a good graphic card to perform well, to perform nicely, so be aware of that too. And that's it, let's start. As you might know, the old Grease Pencil was separated in two different tools, annotation and the new Grease Pencil object. So if you only want to add notes here in the viewport or in other editors in Blender, you should use annotation. Annotation has only very basic setting to do that. If you want to make uh, complex uh, things like 2D animation or storyboarding, you should use the Grease Pencil object. You can find annotation at the bottom of the toolbar. To add new notes, just select the annotate tool and start to draw freehand. There are also other annotation tools for make lines, polygons, and for the light notes, use the eraser. The notes are grouped in layers. In the sidebar, you will find an annotation panel for manage the notes. You can add or delete new note layers, change the color, the thickness, and turn on off the visibility. But if you want to hide all of your notes at once, you can go to the overlay pop-up and turn off annotation. Chris Pencil is not anymore all over the place in the Blender interface. It's now a real new object in Blender with its own properties and modes. So let's see how to work with this new object. To start working with Grease Pencil, we need first add a new object to work with. To add the object, go to the Add menu and you will find Grease Pencil there with three options. Blank, to add an empty object to start from scratch. Stroke, to add a simple line. And Monkey, to add a 2D Susan. Stroke and Monkey have also preset layers and materials to make it easier to start working. In Object Mode, Grease Pencil behaves like any other object in Blender. You can move, rotate, scale, parent, or do anything that other object in Blender could. There are several places where you can find things related to Grease Pencil. The Object Data, where you can find the 2D layer and set object properties. The Material Panel, to create materials for stroke and fields. Modifiers with a special modifier for Grease Pencil. The effects, a totally new concept in Blender to add real time effects in the viewport. In the top sheet, Grease Pencil has its own mode to animate their keyframes. There is also a section in overlays for Grease Pencil. And in certain modes, like in Draw Mode, you can find special brushes in the toolbar and top bar and in the tool setting. To help artists, Blender will have a special workspace called 2D Animation. The workspace reminds a 2D painting software. The white background helps to work with black strokes. You have a toolbar in draw mode that shows a set of preset brushes. On the right side, the object layer and materials are very useful. And at the bottom, you have a timeline and a dot sheet to work with your 2D animations. Let's do a quick drawing session to know more about brushes, layers, and materials. We are going to start with a blank grease pencil object and enter in draw mode. By default, the stroke will be placed at object origin, but you can use 3D cursor or mesh surface if you want. The easiest way to know where you are going to draw in the 3D space is activate the canvas grid in overlays. Unlock your stroke to one of the axes, Y, X, or Z. In our case, we are going to lock on Y and enter in camera view. And to get rid of distracting things, I'll turn off all the overlays. 
Before I start drawing, I'm gonna add some new materials. Rename the default materials to black and add the gray one with solid fill color. Materials is not just solid colors. You can also create more complex materials with texture or gradient if you want. To start drawing, select one of the preset brushes, then select the materials you want to use, and start to draw on the viewport. keep your drawing organized, you can add, delete or modify 2D layers in the object data panel. You can also lock layers, turn on off visibility or modify the opacity. The brushes are actually preset settings. You can change the settings in the top bar and in the tool settings for different struct results. To erase, you can select one of the eraser, soft, hard, or line to delete entire lines. Sculpt mode is very useful to tweak your drawing and improve your lines. You can smooth, change thickness and move strokes softly with proportional editing on. In edit mode, you can delete vertices, join, split, or subdivide the strokes in a similar way as mesh object. Fill brush can use to fill a close strokes area with a solid color. You can use Alt key to create temporary boundary strokes to close an open area and avoid dispersion of your color. Or you can hold Ctrl key to manually draw solid fill areas.
You can add modifiers or effects to your grease pencil object to deform, change color, and many other things in a non destructive way. Last, I want to show you how to work on a very basic animation. We are going to change the character expression, adding some keyframe, and using the dub sheet to adjust the timing. To work in the animation, use the dub sheet and make sure you are using the grease pencil context. Grease pencil will create a keyframe on every frame you draw new strokes. You can start with a blank frame, or you can copy an existing keyframe with Shift-D on the dub sheet. For use onion skinning, you have to turn it on on the layer you want to use, and also be sure that you have the onion skinning overlay activated. Move your keyframes to adjust timing.
Well, that's all for now. Uh, this was just an overview of Grease Pencil. Remember, Grease Pencil is an alpha version. And stay tuned because we are working on a more detailed and complete tutorials to be published on the Blender Cloud. So see you there and stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye.